Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Corpse Bride. So before I review Corpse Bride, my guest star, Mark Krawcheck from The Final Cut, is going to give you his overall take on Corpse Bride, as well as giving you the plot synopsis of the movie. So Mark, take it away. Hey Tony, thank you so much for having me on your channel. I am Mark the Movie Man, this is the final cut, and I am very honored to be on Tiger Dude 22's channel to bring to you my review of The Corpse Bride. Now I'm a big Tim Burton fan, and this film was right up my alley. It was a great stop motion film that Tim Burton brought to us after doing A Nightmare Before Christmas. And here in The Corpse Bride, though, we've got a little bit more of a mature story here, where we get Victor Van Dort, who is betrothed to Victoria Everglot. This is taking place in the 1800s and it's beneficial for both families that these two get married but Victor's not quite sure in fact so unsure that he messes up his vows so he goes out into the woods to practice his vows and finds himself suddenly uh, betrothed to the corpse bride and we see how he's taken down to the underworld to try to figure out this situation and how to get out of it meanwhile on the surface in the land of the living uh, Victoria Everglot is being wooed by someone else who's horning in on Victor's girl and wants to marry him marry her for himself and we see how Victor has to choose between the two brides all the while dealing with the turmoil that his life has become ever since he met the corpse bride. <laughs> this is a lot of fun and I really enjoy this film. It makes for a great double feature with A Nightmare Before Christmas, though as I mentioned this film has more mature themes. It's got a, I think a few more scarier moments than A Nightmare Before Christmas, which you might think is oh, really, but yeah it does. And that, it's just in the theme and the whole overall tone of this film is definitely darker, though I did like the fact that the world of the dead was actually more lively than the world of the living in, with Victor Van Dort, and I, I enjoyed that opposites that they have in here. Now, this film has some fantastic voice acting in here, and go figure, Johnny Depp and Helen Bonham Carter in a Tim Burton film saying ain't so, Joe. Well, it is so. They're in here along with Tracy Ullman, who does a great job. You've also got uh, Emily Watson in here. Christopher Lee's voice makes an appearance to your ears. Uh, Michael Goh in here, who uh, played the butler in Batman. He's in here, and Danny Elfman, my favorite composer, appears as Mr. Bojangles in one great musical number that happens in the bar in the world of the dead. I really enjoyed the visuals in here and I think the stop motion in here was actually improved over A Nightmare Before Christmas. Tim Burton, this is really his style. I mean from this to Frank and Weenie, I would love if he just did stop motion films personally because I love his visuals and they're so fitting for this stop motion animation style. The world that the worlds that he creates and the characters are signature Tim Burton from his coloring to the uh, way he designs the, the the shapes of the figures everything about it really screams Tim Burton though Mike Johnson who co-directed this also has his hand in it and he worked as an animator on a nightmare before Christmas and he uh, co-directs in here as well and both of them do an excellent job and of course score by Danny Elfman is fantastic in here and Everything about Corpse Bride is great, especially for your Halloween viewing season. And again, I would say make a great double feature. I give Corpse Bride four stubs. And the only reason I don't give it five stubs is just because of um, just a couple of hiccups in this film, I think, as far as the pacing goes with it. Uh, but overall, it's a little more mature story. Definitely something for the adults to enjoy and the younger adults out there, though the kiddies may get a little bored with it, though they may enjoy uh, the skeleton dog, which, uh, how can you go wrong with a skeleton dog? So, thank you again, Tony, for having me on your channel. I appreciate that, and remember, folks, till next time, keep that ticket stub. Thank you so much, Mark, for giving your take on Corpse Bride. Corpse Bride is a fan fantastic claymation stop motion movie. The claymation holds up beautifully. The claymation on the character designs looks fantastic and the stop motion from the character's movements it's impressive and that takes a lot of hard work to do because you have to spend hours and days and months just to get the exact movements right 
And that's why I always admire these kind of movies because I always watch these knowing how much time it takes and that's probably why these movies are normally really short. It has a great immersive gothic tone to it. The cinematography is absolutely gorgeous in this movie. Once this movie starts, you are just sucked into this world because it feels like you're in this world. And then of course, when Johnny Depp goes into this world with the dead people, it looks absolutely beautiful there too. The character designs are honestly some of the best character designs I've seen in a stop motion claymation movie. This is the kind of movie where you would think it's gonna go at a direction that would be very cliche, but it actually goes in a quite different direction that honestly really surprised me and I really did like how the movie handled the character's chemistry you know with Johnny Depp's character and the corpse bride which Helena Bonham Carter voices and I do gotta say that the voices fit each character perfectly when I watch Johnny Depp's character I really don't hear a Johnny Depp voice in the studio I actually see that voice blend well with that character the same thing goes to Helena Bonham Carter as the corpse bride the same thing goes to Emily Watson who does play Johnny Depp's well alive bride same goes to others you know Christopher Lee he does the voice here too and he was also fantastic there's many other great voices here and then you have the tremendous score by Danny Elfman one of the best music composers and it's simply beautiful it fits the atmosphere and the tone of what Corpse Bride Rings. Tim Burton who directs this film and Mike Johnson who co-directs this film I thought that they both did a really great job just bringing this movie to life. Now the only flaws I did have with Corpse Bride is mainly in the third act to be honest. I did think the third act was kind of rushed and I still thought the third act first of all was great. I was still invested, I was still into the atmosphere as I was with the first two acts but I did feel like the third act was kind of rushed and there was an antagonist in the final act that I did feel like was shoehorned. Overall guys, despite those couple of flaws, Corpse Bride is such a fantastic movie. This is one of those claymation stop motion movies that just had me so immersed from beginning to the end. I was loving the direction, the style, the tone, the score, the characters, the claymation, the stop motion on how the characters move. It's just so breathtaking. And if you guys haven't seen this movie, I would recommend it, especially if you're into these claymation stop motion movies, or if you're just a fan of Tim Burton's style. So I am going to give Corpse Bride three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Corpse Bride. Also tell me, what's your favorite Tim Burton movie? And I also want to thank my guest star, Mark Krocek, for guest starring in this review for Corpse Bride. He's a very cool guy. He reviews so many kinds of films. And he also does have a podcast called The Spoiler Room. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!